Fatal Dada has been a loyal servant to the club and today we get the opportunity to speak to him and speak to him about how the season has gone so far. Fatal, good to see you. Uh, Robin, good to see you too. We have played 26 matches already. Um, do you know the number of times you've been in goal? Well, I think uh, I've played about 10 or 11 games, if I'm not lying. I've played about 10 or 11 games this season. When you have a look at your performance in the 10 or 11 matches that you have played, how would you generally rate it? Well, I think uh, it's a collection something. It's a team teamwork, which I should say, or collective something. So you can't just judge only your individual performance. If you are doing well and the team is not winning, that means your, your, your performance is zero. But if I have to judge individually, I have some games that I did well, but it's very unfortunate I couldn't win the game. So I would say uh, it wasn't enough. The performance wasn't enough because we were not winning at that time. We were in difficult times. I think that during the, uh, the first round of the season or the early stage of the season, we were having difficult games or difficult times. We managed uh, to play and then the management did well to I mean, beef up the squad. And then we started picking some points home and away. So I think uh, individually, I think sometimes I, I lose, I will lose a game, but I will assess myself individually. I could see that you no, know, I'm doing well, but I won't be happy. Why? Because the team is not winning. If I do well and the team don't don't do well, it's zero. I remember against Kotoko, we lost, but I, I I won the match. My man of the match, it's fine individually, but it's a team we lost. So I think uh, uh, during the early stage of the competition, the championship, that's the league, we we're struggling, but kudos to the management, they were able to beef up the squad and then we we're doing well. But yes, it's not enough. But I think it's better than the first half of the season. What would you say are the reasons why the team has not been able to perform like a lot of fans would want? Is it because of who we are and the level of pressure on us to win virtually every game we play? Well, I think uh, I don't have to give excuses because the management have done what they have to do in terms of motivation. I've played, I've played in the Premier League for long. But the bonus the team is paying is huge. That's the time we need to win games and then even sometimes the management will decide to give us more than what they're supposed to give us on paper. The motivation is there. I think for me as a player or as an experienced player in the league, we need to I mean, step up our uh, winning mentality. Whether we are playing home and away, that's one thing in football. In Ghana League, everything is possible. We've seen clubs going away to win where people think they cannot win. Wafa, we were able to go to Doma, uh, uh, to, Dukum, to, to win games. So we can do it. I think the, the individual men, uh, uh, winning mentality is not there. If we're able to get it together, I think we can win games. I mean, for me, that, I think that's the problem because we've been training for stamina, I think 100%, compared to last season. This season we were playing, you could see that we were pushing. For the, uh, the, the, preseason, the preseason went on well, uh, we, are, we are well conditioned. But the winning mentality, you need to increase it and then start winning games. So I think that's the problem. Apart from that, I don't see what well, the motivation, football motivation counts. And we have it. What we eat, where we sleep, the bonus itself, I think, is, is enough for us to do well. We have eight more matches to play. Um, if you look at the points gap, between the teams at the bottom and the teams at the top. It is still very, very close. Are you confident that we have a team that can finish high up uh, the table by the time we are done with the league? Well, uh, it's a difficult time when the league is getting this way. Those who want to win the league are pushing. Those who want to escape relegation are also pushing. So I think we need to win some games, more, at least six games out of these eight games. It's possible we can do it so that we can find ourselves at a comfortable position. We need to survive and stay in the league and then so that we take it from there next season. So I think uh, these eight games is going to be difficult. You are going to beat the team that they want to win the league. You are going to beat the team that they want to escape relegation. So it's not easy. That's what I said earlier on. We need to step up our determination and then win the mentality so that these eight points, I think we can take at least six from it. A lot of you are new to each other, as in you have not known each other for long. Players have come from all over to play for Ligon Cities. Do you have like meetings amongst yourselves, especially at this time of the season, that we need to we need to take winning mentality into games so that we can we can win as many matches? 
Yes, uh, I've been, we've been doing that with me, myself, and Asamoah. We've been doing that with the players. Myself and Asamoah, I think we are also another motivation for the players. They've been looking up to us. We've been talking to them every time. Even yesterday, before breakfast, I, I, we, we, we met and then we, we, we discussed about the match. And then this morning, to before breakfast, I want the players to know why we are here. We can't just come all, all the way from Accra to come and just say, oh, I should go to Peter so that we go. No. We know we need a triple. They also need it, but but I told the guys we should we should we should have it. I remember our mind that we need we need we need that point more than as good because if you are able to beat as good, we will go over them. So that is what is going to make the match dicey or the match difficult. But we should determine that we can do it. That's what I told them. I know I know they are all determined because we can't just we, just, we can't just come and then just come and just do as good should beat us and go. No, we needed a three points. That's why we are here. So I think uh, uh, we are determined to do that. You know, we have a lot of new players among us, as you said, compared to last season. And now the old players who are in the who are, are in the regular setup or the first eleven recently, I would say it's only Ado. And maybe yourself. And myself. And the rest are Nicolas. Nicolas, very good. Myself, Nicolas, and Ado. The rest are new players. But I think getting to the end of the season, we will be able to know the at least the first eleven. So that means if you are able to survive in the league and go with it in the next season, you are going to be a team to watch. But first, we need to survive and make sure we stay in the league. From there, I think definitely there will be some beef up, but the coach will have an idea of his team. Because all the time you need to have your first eleven so that you can have some consistency in the uh, tactics you want to play in the match, match day. So I think uh, the new players, they are, not, they are doing good. They are doing good. It's not bad at all because it's not easy to get a, to have new players to I mean uh, mix with old players. It's not easy, but at least they're able to uh, fit in, and then we are we are going. Let's see what happens after the eight matches. We'll see what happens after the eight more matches, but it would be impossible to do an interview without asking you about your department. Of all the four registered goalkeepers we have for the season, it looks like it is only Anani who hasn't had game time. Uh, yourself, Honu and Saki have all had game at time. Is it a case of the coaches deciding that maybe everybody should get an opportunity? Well, uh, that's the decision of the coaches. They, they know more than I know why they, they do it that way. And what makes me happy is uh, the one who came in didn't disappoint at all. That showed the level of the, uh, 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 the effectiveness of the department. Because mostly we know in that department, coaches don't normally change goalkeepers. But there's injuries, there's suspension and other things. So definitely as a goalkeeper, if you are there, you need to be ready. Let me give you an example. When we went to the AFCON 2013, I wasn't the first choice goalkeeper. But when I was going to the tournament from home I decided that no let me prepare mentally physically when I go and I have the chance to play I'll do well so I was prepared so when I go and I was called upon to play to start the game I didn't panic because I was prepared and I was waiting for the opportunity I had a good tournament so I think the same thing I was talking to the guy guys goalkeeping is different the only thing is just wait for a chance you can play one game can change your life one game can also destroy you so just focus and stay and I'm they listen when they when they called upon to play, they did well. From uh, Sylvester, they are doing well. I'm happy. When, when if I'm not there, they can play. The team have confidence in them now. So I think uh, we are pushing each other. Although they are they are young goalkeepers, but they are doing well. So uh, uh, I keep supporting them. Whenever I'm not playing, they are playing. I keep supporting them because we we are all thinking of the badge, the badge first, not individually. When the team win, we all win. Because if we win, if I play 90 minutes, or I don't play 90 minutes, and the person who play 90 minutes, if we win, we get the same bonus. So I need to support so that we win as a team. And then think, think of the team first. Let me ask you, in the last two, three months, you got a call-up. It was a surprise to all of us, the national team. Personally, um, when I heard about it, I was like, wow. So the national team is, you know, is, is still looking up to a goalkeeper from my club. Do you still have ambitions to play for the national team if the call-up comes again? Yes, Kwame. Uh, I think uh, after that surprise call-up, uh, the technical team, I would like to say thank you to them. They know what I can do and they, they know I'm still in the system. This is my 19th year playing 
consistently in the uh, in professional football. 19 years playing consistently and I'm playing actively. Uh, uh, they decided to invite me at that time. I was fit, I was active, I was playing. That's the first league match we played before they invited me. So I mean, after, I think uh, I was not playing. So maybe because I was not getting uh, game time, that's why I didn't get a call up. Accept. It's accepted. Uh, I'm still active, I'm still playing. I don't know what will happen. The AFCON is next year. We don't know what will happen. As I'm still fit, active, I don't know. It's only God knows. I can be there again, nobody knows. So I'm just, for now, I'm focused on my club, how I'll, I'll, I'll survive with the club. That's most important. Let me ask you one final question. When I met you years ago, you didn't have a ring on your finger. Today you have a ring. What that means is that most of the time you have to leave home and leave Madame behind. Uh, how is it like com you know, combining your new life as, as a married man and, and a footballer, knowing that now you have to be leaving home most often and leaving a madame behind? Well, a uh, uh, very difficult one, especially when you are, you are newly married, uh, there's no kid. If you are away, there will be madame alone in the house. Who is going to entertain her? It's very difficult. So every hour, every minute, when I have small free time, I need to call and check on her. But for me, for my rest, I don't do it with my rest because I know I have a game. So when I'm resting, I know but I need to check on her because she's there alone at home. You know, now I'm not alone, we are two. So I need to check on her and then make sure she's okay. But as I'm talking to you now, she's okay, she's fine. And she's also asking me, how am I doing? You know, was it, how are things? I said, no, we just we need a prayer. So I just should pray for the team so that we we'll come home with the victory. Yeah. Any message for your fans before we end? Well, I think uh, we are a new team, but uh, I'm impressed about how the fans are behind us. We are able to I mean, gather some fans who are supporting the world cities. That's good. I think if we are able to do well, we are going to win the heart of some supporters from other clubs to come and join us. So uh, they should keep praying for us. They would like or they would love to see the team next season. We, need, we needed that more than them. So we only need their prayers. And what they also need is for the world cities to win and for them to be happy. Inshallah, we will do that to make them happy. So they should continue praying for us. That's all. Thank you very much. Thank you too.